uh, if we're all good to go. Uh, welcome to session four, Curse of Strahd. Uh, I need to transfer you guys over to the correct screen. No, no, you guys are still on the landing screen. Uh, minimize that. Interesting. Alan, what do you want? <laughs> no, you guys get a chance if you can hop on roll 20. But, uh, yeah, you guys were, last time we left off, you were, uh, you escaped Durst Manor with a new friend in both, uh, Elian, is it? I'm, I'm really bad with names. Elian, right? Yeah, Elian. Elian and uh, Lancelot. As you guys uh, navigated to the town centre to try and, uh, the town square rather, to try and find some respite uh, after the eventful <laughs> like encounter so far in this strange and unfamiliar country. Uh, Ellen guided you guys to a tavern called the Blood of the Vine Tavern, where you guys sorted out some lodgings and had a long rest, I believe. We did. Um, so we'll time skip to the morning in that case. Uh, what are you guys doing? There's a, a faint aroma of some kind of some sort of meaty stew coming from downstairs. But otherwise it's nice. It's, it's all quiet except for uh, if you guys roll a perception check for me please. Let's get things started off. Ooh. I'll roll. Uh, well, first roll of the night. <laughs> Great start, Aid. Great start. Head in the notes. Yeah, you, you're still <laughs> snoozing, if anything. <laughs> um, it's been a very traumatic uh, past 24 hours for you. Uh, but, Sirius, you can uh, hear in the distance uh, what sounds like a, uh, a lady that's just weeping very loudly from somewhere in the town square. Or nearby, the very least. It's you're. You could be that you're a little bit of a light light sleeper, and you heard it. But um, it seems like a, a, a an elder, a, an older lady that's wailing or crying or some, making some sort of racket in the town square. Oh God! Someone's a very upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> can I just um, open the window and shout them to shut up? Oh, you certainly <laughs> can. <laughs> can can well, you can do I look a out the window? Yeah, can I look out the window and see see where they are? If I can spot them from the window. Uh, let me have a look. So, uh, you are in E two, I believe. Oh, the way you distance yourself from the microphone, then, Max, I thought you went to look out your own window. <laughs> let me <laughs> see what I can see. Uh, oh, you you, you can there. you could you can't see which building it's coming from. But it's coming from across the road, and it's like heading down uh, south, like the southern part of the the town. Oh, but it's near. It's nearby, like a house or two away. You reckon? Oh, okay. I'll make note of that. Yeah. Do 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 you want to yell them, t- yell at them to shut the fuck up, or are you just gonna no, no, no. have a nosy and then be one of those people <laughs> have a, like hear a noise outside, just standing there front window, staring anyone down, and then between the blinds. <laughs> No, no, I'm too polite for that. I won't do that. Okay. Yeah. I'll head downstairs instead. Yep. Yeah, and uh, if, if you head downstairs, you do see the familiar sight of uh, Arik, as you guys made the acquaintance of uh, in your last session. Um, I do have a hand off this, actually. So there you go. Arik, the, the innkeeper. Yeah, Eric the Barkey. <laughs> oh, beautiful man. Yes. I'm serving you food with those hairy hands. Mm. Well, you, you haven't eaten anything yet, so you don't know you yet. He looks straight out of Goldshire, he does. <laughs> <laughs> straight out of my dreams. Oh, he's just such a bear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I get some breakfast off him? I'll buy some breakfast off him. Oh, I think you guys agreed that you get uh, it was like a, a bed and breakfast so breakfast is included so uh, you, you'll scurry off to the kitchen seeing as you take a seat and uh, he'll bring you a, a fairly meaty soup with some various like root vegetables like potatoes, carrots and stuff stewed in. Uh, it's quite a welcoming smell and uh, very small and uh, sadly very hard like uh, bap or roll 
It's not the most appetizing, but it, it, you can bite into it and your teeth won't crack, but it's not the nicest. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, yes. I hope it mind if I, pleases mind if I you. Smoke? Of course. Oh, I'm going to light up then. Oh, that's an odd smell. <laughs> is that is that tobacco in your pipe, sir? It's um, oh, what was it? It's called uh, red sugar. I've never heard of it. Oh, I don't think it's from these parts. Oh, uh, you must let me try one day. <laughs> oh, my stock's limited, so it may be, maybe one day, I'll have to get you some. He'll give you a wink and head back towards the bar, and a little finger gun. So like, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> And he'll start polishing his glasses from the night before. Mostly wine glasses, you notice he's polishing. Not so much as tankards or anything like that. Oh, I hope it's his glasses. <laughs> After that, I think. Anyone doing anything else? So far, we've got Dudley downstairs enjoying his... Uh, I'm although still satisfying, working. but not the most exciting of breakfasts. I'm still working in my room. You can hear like away. a clink, clink, clink coming from it. Like a, a garage. Like you're walking past a garage that where people are actually working and not sitting on their arse. <laughs> <laughs> but Dudley, your character would definitely hear this. Oh, what did I hear? Sorry. Yeah, you, you would hear him tinkering from a room as you were walking by down the stairs with your perception roll 22. Probably you as well, Matthew. He's not being too... Noisy. Well, he, he he's not being too quiet. I mean, like it's not exactly subtle work going on. Uh, can I head out into the streets, trying to keep an ear open, just in case, and eyes open, just in case there's uh someone I may recognise or anything like that. Yeah, you, you want to just just go straight downstairs, ignore everyone, just go straight to the town square, just stand there, have a look around. Yeah, hands on oh, hips. Okay. Not literally stand there staring at people like, oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, Beatrice, she's gone down there today. Okay. No, I just want to like roam the streets as yeah, yeah. in a new town. Okay, so um, f for the town layout from your uh, walking about, uh, you do notice that the main road uh, it came, came from the east from you guys uh, came from. And it does head right through, like a very classic British town where it's heading right through to the. Um, uh, to the west and carries on more into the country. Uh, there's a couple of uh, buildings that stood out to you. Um, you did hear a lady cry as well. Um, from the southern town, a uh, part of town, right next to what appears to be a uh, merchant store. Uh, you did see a, uh, although not, it serves a purpose. Aside, it's nothing flashy. It's quite literally just text, as engraved in a bit of wood saying "Build Draths Mercantile." It seems like to be some kind of shop and there's some activity in there of it being open up, opening up for the day. Um, What's it called, sorry? Bildrath's Mercantile. Uh, to the north, you notice there is a fairly, not massive, but modest church of some kind. And what well, appears to be graveyards behind it. And to the south... Uh, it, it, you saw like a uh, bigger house than normal. You, you'd assume whoever's in charge or whoever's most wealthy uh, would be living in the house. So you didn't go all the way down the street because you just had a quick wander around. Um, can I to get a perception check off you though, uh, whilst you yeah. have a wander about to, uh, just to see what's going on? Oh, a 20. So you see a lady coming from the west of town from uh the main road she appears to be wheeling some sort of wooden cart albeit very slowly because she seems like uh, the an older lady to say the least uh she uh, appears to be wheeling what appears to be a food cart of some kind and you do see the odd um very few villagers emerge from their houses uh that hand over coin and the like to uh purchase what appears to be uh, like pies of various kind. You're not too sure what kind of pies, but it, it, it seems like a, some sort of food vendor. That's uh, that's go on the way to the town square where you're at. 
She doesn't happen to have an upstairs neighbour who's a barber, does she? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> just, a, um, just a little old lady. When you were saying before that it looked like the rich person in the town lived to the south, is that where the yeah. crime is also coming from? Uh, it is, uh, because you're in the town square. The, the the house is from just a normal house. It's just like two doors down. It, it's not far away at all. Okay. Yeah, it's not from the, the, the big house. So that'll be a, a little bit out of shot for that. Uh, I, might, I would show you guys a, a map, but you guys don't own a map, so <laughs> you have to do this in your head. All I'm getting so far is that it's one big line and all the buildings off it. Basically, yeah, it, it's quite literally, think of a big plus sign. And uh, to the north, you've got a church, big house to the south. Uh, west leads out, and east comes back from the way you came from. It's the best way you can describe it in layman's terms. Alright, uh, if there's sort of like nobody I recognise or anything, I'm going to head back into the inn and sit down with Siri. Yeah, it, 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 there is a familiar but sickly smell in the in the room. Something sweet. So uh, Sirius is there uh, puffing away with his pipe, and uh, Arik will shuffle away and get your breakfast ready and uh, pop it and pop it in front of you, whichever. If you decide to sit on the same table or separately, or whatever you decide. I'll sit on the table with him. I mean, we've been in caravan for however long. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm just going to mention about the woman crying that I heard. But I was... You never know about that serious. You know? Wink, he's, wink. He's... He's he's, a, uh, he's lost to himself in the smoke. <laughs> unless he didn't hear you. He's lost in the sauce, mate. He's sauce. lost in it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we should go check out that that screaming. Yeah, let's uh, wait for the other guys to wake up, though. Yeah, get the team together. Uh, Alien finally wakes up, though, at this point. Uh, I'll come downstairs with, like, an armful of kind of, like, satchel and books and papers and stuff and come and, like, dump everything onto the table and sit with everybody else, it's just like a pile of scrolls, paper, books, all sorts of like writing implements and things, and I'll just dump it all down onto the table and sit down and start like going through and making notes and collating bits. Because I've got that piece of paper, the note that um the note that Eli gave me, um I think there was there was a note from the the basket of goods as well that we had. Oh yep. I'm gonna start trying to piece things together and putting them all out. I'm just gonna move a bit of paper out of my food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, sorry, and like snatch it back with a corner dipped in the soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this soggy paper. Just dripping yeah, on other bits of paper. It. You're just like yes. flapping about, trying to avoid as much as you can. Yeah. Sorry, serious. Oh, it's fine. I'll, I'll start trying to put together and, and moving things around and, and writing notes and things. Um, do, do you guys have any more uh, any more information? Of you, you guys seem to have a lot more than, than me from when you arrived. Um, do you have anything else that we can sort of start putting together for this? I'm trying to work out how we got here. I mean, once we uh, got here, we just got into town and taken to that creepy house. It's pretty we much all we've done. Yeah, we, we don't know anything about what's going on. Well, from from what I remember of this, of like learning about this place before, um, this this is this is a Barovia, and this this Strad guy is, you know, this this is like a realm of dread. We we need his permission to get out of here. So, I I think we need to like find this guy and and you know clear up 
clear up this mistake and get ourselves sent back. Wait, did you say his name there by any chance? I said it's Strahd. But I can say Strahd von Zerovich if that helps. Uh, the <laughs> mention of the, the name, thunder cracks in the distance. Very peculiar. I like flinch at it. <laughs> oh, where can we find this fella then? I... I have no idea. I'm assuming if he's the the townsfolk spoke spoke of him as some sort of lord. So, is there any any like lords dwelling uh, around this place? I didn't really get to see much before I got imprisoned in a in a coffin in a tomb. So, so I didn't really get a chance to explore the town. I just saw a bigger house towards the south of the town. Whether that's his house or not, I have no idea. Probably ask the barkeep when he comes back round. Do we not see any big castles on our way in? I think we did on the way in, didn't we? Yeah, you, you did, yeah. It's on road 20, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, the innkeeper was in the way. He's a fairly large fellow, to be fair. He's a big lad. <laughs> yeah. Big belly. I'm going uh, to get up and go over to the innkeeper and be like, um, For you? Hello. Uh, hello. Hey, Mr. Uh, Arik? Yes. Um, do you know? Do you know of a um, a Strad von Zerovich in this town? Oh, I didn't play that long enough. Damn it. <laughs> Delayed like thunder. <laughs> Maybe thunder. I do. Maybe I don't. We're asking. Um. He whips out a little pan flute and plays a little, little diddle. <laughs> um, I, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Uh, is is he sort of a? I'd heard somebody else saying he might perhaps be a lord at this place. I mean, could you? Uh, yes. Would you be able to give me any information about him? He he is the lord of this entire land. Who are you, people? How do you not know? Um, we're not not from round here. Ah, you Vistani? Don't look like Vistani. Not colorful. You clothes are not colorful enough. Uh, no, we're not. We're not Vistani. Whoa! Very peculiar. He plays with his pan flute in a mysterious tone. That, is that necessary, sir? A uh, yes. I have so. Is this. Is this sort of. Strahd's domain? Are we. Are we in a. A demi plane right now? Do not know what those words mean. But you are in his kingdom, yes. Okay, um, where whereabouts could we find him? Ah, uh, he'll um take off his apron, uh, put it in the bar, and uh, walk round to into the, the the public area, guide you out the door, and he'll just point at the castle up on top of the cliff. Uh, there. Ah, yeah, that makes sense, I guess, with him being the lord of here and everything. Uh, thank you, yes. Eric. Your help, he'll bow and walk back to the bar. Um, thanks for your help, Eric. Just um, just while we're here, um, my my soup's a little bit cold. Could you warm it up a little bit, please? <laughs> he'll give you a scowl and uh, <laughs> grab <laughs> out of your hand the bowl and stomp oh, back yeah. to the kitchen. Um, it's you know, if it's not too much trouble, thank you. Him. And I'll go and sit back Ang- down and angry, angry cutlery noises, as if you upset uh, your partner, kind of thing. <laughs> and uh, he comes out with another bowl and just slams it, and a little bit sloshes on top of your uh, your. Um, is it is it full on like conspiracy web level paperwork or just loads of just notes? Just at this point, it's just like loads of notes and scraps of paper and things about everywhere. But I'll quickly try and like wipe dab it off with my. With my like robe. Let's say you just grab someone else's robe and start dabbing. 
<laughs> uh, can I can I check to see if he's spat in my soup? <laughs> uh, you can do an investigation check. Yes, if you're proficient yeah. with co- cooks utensils, I'll give you double proficiency. I'm not, but I got a twenty-two. Uh, you don't see any foreign objects in your soup slash stew. Okay. I'll like move it around with a spoon a little bit. Be like, thank you, Eric. And I'll. He just glares stay. at you. It's a slow polishing a white glass meticulously. He's kind of intense. Um. So it seems this this straw guy lives in the castle up at the top. Maybe we should just go and, you know. Oh my god, is that gonna happen every time? Do we do we hear that in universe? Like, in- yes, you hear that in oh, universe. Okay. I'm not doing it as a meme. You actually, hear it in universe. Okay. That's some that's some serious conjuration magic. I don't know is why it, you would do that, that. But is that you doing that? I'm not doing that. Hmm. Um, but yeah, perhaps we should we should go up there and see if we can get this this whole mess cleared up. Um, like be- before we went to bed last night, Eli showed me um, some notes that he'd got on his on his on his sphere. It seems I don't know. It seems to be some sort of he he's got theories that it's a a device used for planar travel. I can't really make much out of his notes at the moment, but do you think that's how we got here? Now, planar travel is a fairly complex topic that would not be taught normally. So unless you're like astute in the arcane ways, aka if you're proficient in arcane, you would have some sort of idea what he's talking about. If you don't, he's just saying words at you like a nerd. <laughs> do you know what? I actually am proficient, so let me give it a roll and see if I understand. Oh. Oh, I'm proficient mm. in Ar- Arcana. Oh my word, we've got some smart boys. Okay. Uh, nice. Sirius has heard the words, but he, it's not really his forte. Mav has some it. sort of idea of what it's about. It's it, it's this concept of going to other worlds. It's a bit out there of a concept. It, it's not... Yeah. It, people that study it often refer to as... Like, lost a couple of marbles, to say to say the least. Um, but yeah, I, I can't really make it's not any runes that I've seen before. Um, I can't really make sense of it, but that could be a, a reason why we're here. I don't, I don't know why we'd we'd come to here though. Mm. But perhaps we we go up there and just you know just politely ask, and maybe um, maybe he'll send us back. Do you know anything about this strap guy? Um, you make me click so many times. Pieces. What what would I have got? Because I <laughs> I knew I'd read a little bit of Barovia, hadn't I? Uh yes. Did I know anything about Strahd? Uh, you know the only thing that there's no real mention of it. The problem you have is that there's. Where you study, there has been notes of the identifying of its nature as a plane. However, each time they've sent someone there to specifically research it, they mysteriously never came back to report on their findings. Oh. So it is, it's more of a quick case of under, like if it was in the dictionary, you just see a big question mark there more than anything. So, Aid's character knows for a fact that it's another plane. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, it's referred I refer to it as a domain of dread, which yeah, is either mm-hmm. fey nature or some deities involved or some kind of power that, 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 that like pocket dimension. Some someone had to so, create yeah. it. Yeah. Would it, would it be safe to say that I pieced together that? Strahd had put his name on the notes that he'd sent us. Uh, yes. They were addressed like to us. We also had those baskets. Every time you say his name, like lightning strikes. But I've pieced together, he's probably the person who's 
who's in charge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I, I think this, I think this is his, his domain. I think we need to, we need to go to him and see if he can, you know, maybe he'll just send us back. I mean, if you think he's the type of fellow or what? He, he did send us gift baskets. Did anyone actually use anything from the gift basket? I ate all of everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was fine. Yeah, I uh, like pocketed everything. It's in the uh, it's in the bag for later. Because I think there was a potion of stuff in there, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I need to add that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. There was what? Sorry, in there. There was a, 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 the D4 po- potion of healing. I can't remember the name of it because there's like 10 different names of it, but it's the lowest it's the grade. Lowest. Is uh, Eli done with his tinkering? Uh, I would say that the it's the clanging has stopped. Yeah. Do, do you have a, a eureka moment? Do you have a phrase you shout out when you, something has come together? Not really. He's uh, more um, thought of that he doesn't really want to bring attention to himself, considering he looks very different. Okay, okay. Now, which suit did you make? So I have gone um, with Guardian. Okay. So, uh, do you uh, have disadvantage on yourself for your current setup? I do. Okay, so you you will merge out your door. I mean, it's just making a, like a whirring, like, whee, as you take each step. As you, uh, the, the floorboards above the rest of the group is, like, creaking. You see a little bit of dust. Eric is, like, looking up, annoyed, because dust just fell on his freshly polished wine glasses. Oh, so I haven't got, like, it's not, ar- I've just got normal plate armor like I had before. Oh, it's, it, what kind I've of, gone... yeah, is the, is the armor give you disadvantage, the one you've converted, though? The, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. Does, yeah. Well, so. well, well, just for RP sake, because of the, 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 it still gives disadvantage unless you t- use a different type of armor. I want to say yeah. it's like very mechanical and it's noise. Like you can still okay. stealth and stuff. The way I do stealth is, as long as half the group is successful in the DC, um, you, you pass kind of thing. So you, if you send yourself when someone's really stealthy, and one person ha- nat twenties, you're fine. Kind of kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, it's just so it, it, it's if you're really good at stealthing and you really need to get past somewhere, it's better to incentivize a group of really good people of really, uh, good stealth to go ahead. But it doesn't make people not good at stealth completely like miss out kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So I like I'd like me some group skill checks. But yeah, it'll be very mechanical in its nature and, and its noise. You can even have steam coming out, whatever you want to flesh it as, or very arcane driven we just see pulses of light going through it yeah well he's he can do uh he can make arcane armor yeah and he's got the gauntlets he's changed so he, all of the, the modified crossbow he had he's yeah. taken that apart and made gauntlets and modified his armor a little bit you can see that the bow or the crossbow is still uh, like a part of the chest piece now if anything like an ornate piece but yeah, you, you can make your way down now to... Yeah, it's made so it's like embedded into the chest is the... Yeah, yeah. Is it guild... Uh, logo, logo, yeah. Which I don't think anyone knows what that is. Maybe... No, they won't do. Ilion would know. I can make a check. You can Either do one. a history check for me. So 15. Uh... Fifteen? No, you wouldn't know. You think you've read it in the book, but you, you can't recall it. It, it, it was yeah. like some class you took, and he it was it was you, you took it for extra credits. You didn't really pay attention. You just had to do it for <laughs> just me from puppy scores kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So I'll go downstairs. Um, I'm mm-hmm. still wearing my cloak. Um, I've got my shield on my back. Um, you notice as well that I'm sort of wearing like a half mask, so half of it's made of metal, the other half's made of cloth. 
And I'm going to go down. I'm going to sit down with everyone. Uh, Good morning. Eric, Eric will bring over a bowl very nervously at, at the site. He doesn't know what to make of you. That suit looks like it means uh, business, Eli. You come prepared. Well, I didn't actually come prepared. I think that was the problem. Um, after the experience we had in that house, I thought maybe I'd best prepare myself a little bit better. Yeah, you look like you're ready to take on the entire town. Well, we'll see. I haven't really had a chance to test it out yet, but... Um... You know, I'm hoping it'll uh, it'll do the job. Uh, I apologize for the mask, by the way. You've all seen my face, and it just shocks people. So I'm trying to keep it covered as to not sort of bring too much attention to myself. Eric is still staring at you, very scared. <laughs> As you say that, seems Hello. like the suit is count counteractive to to your plan, really. Um, thank you very much for breakfast. I've burned myself, um, and the scar's very ugly, so oh. try to keep it covered. I see. But, you're, uh, like, you, you're like that. Bill Dress boy, the, 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 his nephew, Harry Wimple. He, he's the same. Oh, um. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame. It, uh, you know, it can. Oh, yeah. scares people. Uh, oh, yes. So. He's hideous, he is. I can imagine. Nice boy, though. But can't help her uh, scream every time I see his face, though. It's like an instinct, oh. you know. It's like fight or flight, but every time it's flight, a little woo comes out. Well, perhaps I'll make him a mask like mine. That'd be very nice, yes. So are you staying long? Would you require another night? Or just so I know to prepare dinner, of course. Um, I'm not I'm too sure. sure. We're, we're going to see if Strahd will help us get home. A word of warning to you, strangers. He looks around as the flashes go through the cracks in the window. Oh, it's daytime. What we refer to him as the Lord or the Devil in these parts. Strange magics he has, yes. Cursed, that name is. Bad omen to say it out loud. People disappear into the night, you see. Is he the type of person who would be helpful in trying to get us home? I do not know. All I know is some people from the village marched on his castle not too long ago, and they never came back. Or perhaps he's just a good host. I'm going to turn to Elian and be like, oh, maybe he sent them home. Yeah, maybe he... They were not from here as well, and he's to help them go back. I don't know. Or he's eaten them. <laughs> oh no, very dead they are. He is in the graveyard. Uh, oh. I'm. Guys, I'm starting to rethink our plan of going to the castle. Well, we know. Well, he. We know that this. Um. Strad guy knows we're here, and I actually have a theory um, that I've been working on, and I'll pull out the orb and put it on the table. I'll like rustle through all my papers to get a blank sheet out and a quill. Sorry. Um, you you, so you yeah, couldn't I'll... hear you over the thunder. <laughs> Sorry, that yeah, might be my fault. <laughs> Is it in roll 20? 
Yeah, roll 20, yeah. You can turn it down I'll if you want. Yeah, I'll just turn roll 20 down a little bit. Yeah, I've got them fairly low on my end as well, but it's so tricky yeah. with everyone's audio setups and stuff. There you go. Sorry, sorry, Aid. what did you say? Uh, uh, Elian will just, like, rustle through all his papers that are on the table and get a blank sheet out and then, like, a little bottle of ink and a, and a quill and, and be ready to make notes as you're talking. Um, so about, I would probably say, six, seven months ago, I came across this orb um, while I was out on an archaeology dig, unearthing ancient arcane technology. I found this orb. No idea what it did, but I took it back to my lab and started testing it and sort of playing with it trying to see what it did and it eventually brought me to uh, Baldur's Gate well not quite Baldur's Gate just a few miles south of Baldur's Gate um, and I'll be honest Baldur's Gate is not anywhere near where I am from. In fact, I don't think it's on the same plane. And just before we were transported here, when the fog came in, the orb started to light up just like it did the first time. And the runes started to shift in the air and then we were here i don't know how it works i just know that this thing is some sort of key or transporter to move between different planes so the, the problem is is it's broken i've tried to fix it um, I'm having no luck at the moment. Do, actually... do you think you'll eventually be able to fix it and work it out? Yes, um, I believe that I will probably be able to figure it out. Um, the, the problem is, is that I need access to various different metals. Um, and tools to be able to cut those metals into specific shapes yeah the, the lack of lab is probably the problem isn't it um so yeah but from what i can gather um this is the reason why we are here i don't know i didn't touch it so i actually believe we were maybe called here you think something else activated it i do i think maybe um, there's some sort of connection between different worlds. Um, and I'll, I'll pick up the orb. There, there is like a small crack in it. But um, I'll like point to all the different like lines and stuff that go around different circles. Um, I did actually... Um, and I'll, I'll just say, like, I think these lines are paths and these are gateways and i have to we have to take them to the correct sequence um mm. i just i'm just not sure how to do that i'm gonna try like sketching out like a rough outline of those um yeah those pathway can... things yep um do a actually no, I won't make you roll because you're gonna probably be spending some time around it. And the material it's mostly made of, from the looks of it, is anamantine. And the the symbols are mostly foreign to you, but you do notice, uh, weirdly enough, one very the symbols on it are very small. It seems like there's a a vast vast like amount of t connections. If uh, Eli's uh, theory is correct. But you do spot a really small symbol that is uh, your school's insignia, weirdly enough. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, yeah. Do you know... I'm going to point to that insignia. Um, do you recognise this, uh, Eli? Have you seen this before? Um, have I? Uh, no. I'll be unfamiliar to you. Uh, I haven't, no. Um, should it mean anything to me? Never mind. Uh, we'll we'll probably get to that. Touch on that later. I'll just kind of brush it off for now and keep keep looking at the at the orb and sketching lines out as I can. Yep. I'll send a photo of the symbol into uh, Curse of Town Master for you guys. Since you were saying that, um, well, since I rolled whatever I rolled on the Arcana, you said I sort of understand it. Yeah, um, it, it, it seems to me so makes sense, yeah. I'm going to be staring a, a bit blankly at Eli and just be like, so you're essentially saying our best chance of getting back is you fixing this up. So we should just lay low till then? Or do you have any rough idea of where you've got to get these metals from that you need to fix it? I think the first call of action would be to find the person that called us here. I'll if my theory is correct. Is there a way to track this person down? I think we already know who it was. I don't want so to in, one... uh, intrude, but you mentioned rare metals, yes? Uh, yes. If you wanted, the best chance to buy anything good or valuable would be to head west to Valaki. Uh, do, you, do you have a map, or do you know where I can get a map? I do not own one, but Bildreth might have one at his store, although he is very pricey. He has a bit of a monopoly, you see. Okay, um... I suppose um, we'll pay him a visit. Thank you. And, uh, Bless you all, uh, my strange metal man. <laughs> Can I look at Elian and just ask him whether he reckons he could look at the map and draw it in his notebook without the guy realising? I mean, I could certainly try. I think I can probably come up with uh, some sort of deal to get to get the map um i'll need some time though i mean yeah it's just as a last resort in case he does decide to price us out of it yeah no of course um i was thinking maybe build it making a mask for his son uh eric said oh uh, nephew son... nephew oh his nephew sorry yes parry wimple we call him parry wimple yes okay. it's uh it's a bit sad, really. His real name is not Pyroimple, but we like to call him that as he's uh, not very smart in the head, you know. Oh. His yeah, real name is Purple. Purple? Purple Cantamere, yes. Okay. Um, Eli's going to uh, but yeah, I was thinking about making a, a mask for his nephew. Um, maybe that would get us a discount, or at least maybe we could trade it for the map. Couldn't do us any harm to gain a little bit of favour with them. No. Um, I'll probably need a couple of hours to do that. Well, what if we head over there, um, see what they say? about this map price and maybe you could offer to make it for him yeah, I, I get you yeah, we could do that um, but I do think we should visit um, visit this Strahd he seems uh, our best Ooh. bet of figuring out how we got here while, while we're doing this can I um the runes that are on this uh, this orb. Can I cast? Um, can I ritual cast comprehend languages and see if um, 
see if I can make anything from it. Um, I'll save you the time. It's not a language per se. It's more like a oh, schematic, right. yeah, or a diagram. Yeah. I, mean, I already, I, I know what it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. It, it doesn't have any phrases or anything. It's more like um. Best way I could describe it is mach machinations. If if it was whole, you would use it as uh. Are you guys familiar with Hellraiser, the puzzle box, and that? No, no, I'm no. familiar with Hellraiser the movie. Yeah, there's a puzzle box that opens up the um the gateway to hell and all that stuff. But um, you have to open it or use and press it in various different combinations to get it to work or function properly. Okay. I think I know what you're on about like, in the movie. Yeah, you push yeah. in one bit and another pops out, you twist it, and then that goes in and yeah. opens up another bit and you twist the entire thing on itself. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of mechanical aspects to it, but because of that cracks there, it's like it's completely jammed up and won't do anything. Oh, um, I've put some... Uh, I've put Eli's notes in uh, Cursed Town Master, by the way. So yeah, so that. that's really cool. Uh, what I'll do, actually, is I'll make that handout. Uh, let me pop that in there. Got I'll get that sorted, but you guys can carry out, yeah. Um, rooms. Um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's not a language, it's more of a... Well, it kind of is a language, but it kind of isn't. It's very ancient. It's sort of a mix between symbols of schools of magic and also mathematics. It's very precise, very old. Um, we don't know much about it, um, but my guild sort of, I mean, we have dedicated our lives to uncovering and, you know, using the, you know, technology from the old world to make things better in ours. Impressive. Well, it's, it's a lot of work. It's rewarding. Um, but unfortunately, it comes with, you know, its own, own set of dangers, which is, I suppose, why I'm here and not there. But that's my theory. Well, how about we, we go and see if we can get our hands on this map and... Um, try and start putting this plan into action. Yes, we should. So are we heading to uh, Bill Buildrath's mercantile. Yep. Okay. Uh, as you guys come out of the uh, tavern, uh, the lady you saw earlier, uh, Mav, seems to have taken like a little position in the town square. Um. It's more case of, yeah, before you even see her, it, you get hit more by the, the really nice sweet smell. It's more not so much savory pies, but it's like sweet dessert pies. And it's like you, you get a room of cherries or strawberry apples, all kinds of delicious, like sugary goodness coming from this uh, stall. So does this town look like what the picture looks like there? So it looks really gloomy. Oh yeah, exactly like this. Yeah. Like this, yeah. So this is. So, this is... Uh, oh, so for example, like... to the left, the lit up building. That's the blood on on the wine tavern. And do you see the little stall on the right? Yeah. That's that's the little uh, stand that the, this old lady standing up. So it's a bit weird for someone to have like really nice fruit in town like this or? oh it's a ni nicest you don't know what's weird for here that that's a thing but uh, it, it, it does seem like a ray of happiness in an otherwise bleak environment yeah it's like they're in denial <laughs> we, should have we should get some pies um sure they smell really good we should get some pies I and mean, we can take them later maybe we could Maybe we could, I don't know, give them to, maybe it could help us later on, or maybe we can just eat them. They smell really good. Uh, I have no objections to pie. I'll go over to, to the pie lady. 
Hello, dearie. Are you here for some pie? Uh, yes, please. Um, could we have... Um, what what pies do you have? Oh, I have all, all kinds of pies. I have sweet ones with cherry, some apple. What kind of pie are you after, my dearie? Freshly um, made this morning. Can we just have um, a selection of pies? Please, like one, one for each of us. So for full, t- full total, yes. I'm going to lean over at this point, like, no, no, I'm good. I've eaten this morning. Just, just the three, then. Okay, three pies, please. Excellent. That, they're, they're a bit expensive to make, I'm afraid, so I do have to charge you a fair bit, I'm afraid. Is it? I, I don't want to, but it's so difficult these days, you know, with these old bones. Um, how much would that be? I'll start uh, like, taking the, my coin purse out. They are ten to each, I'm afraid. But they are the best pies in the land. You will feel invigorated. Ten silver. Um, at this point, Elian has got like he's got like a look on his face that he definitely cannot afford ten silver per pie. But also, mm. he's far too awkward to go back on this deal that she's now got the pies all bagged up and stuff. So I'm tell you what, tell you what, Terry, I, I will, I will, do, would you like a li- little free example? You, you seem oh. like you've seen hell and true. You, man, big bags under those eyes, except for you, robot man, I can't see your face, I'm afraid. I'll just hand her three silver. A uh, thirty silver. Oh. oh, praise to you, son, you're so kind, so kind. I'll give you the extra, extra big ones for you. And she'll like scuttle to the back and bring you three uh, various different pies. Um, you can think of a dessert pie you would like. Uh, just name it, and she'll have it. Kind of thing. I'm not very good with different pies and stuff. Not not my not to my liking at the very least. And uh, she'll hand you three three uh, pies if uh, if you want to add as a custom item to your life. If you want to hand them out, uh, cream please. I'll just, uh, yeah. A cream pie? pie? I, can, I can make you a cream pie. <laughs> uh oh. Freshly whipped yesterday. I'm pretty sure oh, I can make you actually, actually, like, actually whips out an actual cream pie. You can see a little whipped cream bit, uh, like a oh. uh, mountain top at the top. Like uh, It's very nicely made from the looks of it. Would you like a cream pie? Uh, <laughs> yes, please. There you go. Open you, wide. Open wide, <laughs> my sunny boy. Now <laughs> get on your open. knees. No. Um yeah, she'll literally hand you a cream pie if you if you if you want that as one of three. Delicious, yeah. I'll have one. All that hot white cream. <laughs> Gooey stickiness. Um, gotta bring that hot white cream to the top. We'd like uh, some sort of fruit pie, please. Oh, would you like a, a mixed fruit, cherry, an apple? What, what, what kind? Or just a mix? Um, cherries. Cherry sounds nice. Oh, cherry's my favourite. Excellent choice, my son. And uh, she'll, she'll hand you a cherry pie. I'm going to carefully, like, I don't know, wrap it in. Uh... <laughs> oh, it's okay. I, I've got to cover for you. Just give me two seconds. I'll look at that for you. I'll still put, produce like a little tin cover for it. It's not like expensive. It's like rudimentary tin foil to put on top of yeah. it to protect it. And, and for you, my, 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 what would you like? Um, what does uh, Bildreth usually get? Bildreth is not a pie man. He doesn't like anything good in the world. He's a bit of a miserable cunt, if you ask me. Oh, um... Bitter of a filthy man. He's a filthy man. Oh, yes. Like some cream pies, then. Oh, no, he doesn't, you see. No. Doesn't like anything. No happiness to this man. Terrible, miserable git. Oh, well, um, in that case, I'll... uh... How about a blueberry pie for you, sir? Oh, um, blueberry and... um... Red currant, if you've got that. Oh, 
I have just the one for you. Made one just because it's my sister's favourite pie, you see. You're lucky, luck. Let me, let me, let me get it for me. There you go. Now remember, to spread the word for my pie empire to spread is Morgantha's pies. Morgantha's pies. I yeah. will never yes. ever forget that. Uh, we, we, we're just basing the windmill to the west. We make all our pies there. I make them with my sisters. They're all family, family business, you see. Perfect. Now be sure to rest up, rest well, and look after yourselves. Yes? Well, thank you very much, Magantha. Tatty buys, tatty buys. Thank you for the pies. Yeah, you can uh, each add uh, whoever procured one, except I think it was everyone but Mav. Uh, you can have a yeah. uh, uh, Morgantha pie. Or in serious case, you can have a Morgantha cream pie if she wants to label it as well. Poison pie. <laughs> Poison <laughs> pie, what? <laughs> <laughs> Might be just a nice old lady, you never know. Yeah. Oh, There's <laughs> never any nice old ladies. Well, I'm not an asshole all the time. I have to give you guys <laughs> some sort of happiness, you know, otherwise this would be a really depressing book. Um, oh, that's I mean, I give you guys cake. Lance a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, where is the dog? He's, he's, he's probably serious, yeah, he's just tail wagging oh. there. He loves cream pie as well. Oh, <laughs> Morgantha pie, blueberry, and bread corn. Add item to backpack. Yeah. They're not, um, they, they, each of them have four servings, so. Nice. Yeah, so you can get four nice wedges out of, that, out of each pie. Well, you can have four cream pies. You can have four slices of cream pie, yes. <laughs> okay. So Brilliant. inappropriate, especially with an old lady. It's so, so weird. There it is. Excellent. Spot on, yeah, that's really cool that you could do that. I do like DMD Beyond for that stuff. DMD Beyond's amazing. I love yeah. it. So um, what do you guys like to do? What do you want to do? You're in the town square. It's uh, it's about 10 a.m. It's not particularly sunny. It's very overcast. Should we go see Bildrath? Yeah, it, it literally just crossed the street, so... Uh, would you like to enter Bildrath Mercantile? Yes. Okay. So you open the door and you hear the chime of a, uh, a very stereotypical shop door um, to notify the owner that you are present. Um, you see a man who's just sat on a chair. Doesn't really pay much attention to you. He's just straight up picking his nose, to be honest. And just... Takes out a really nice, uh, that horrible, like green sludge. I was just stares at it on the tip of his finger. Then I stares. Can you guys just roll a d twenty, real quick for me, just to see who he's staring at? Or is who he's oh. flicking the bogey at? He's gonna stare at someone once he eats it. Definitely. Oh yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. So he just straight up stares at Eli as he slowly puts out the tip of his tongue, gives it a little lick, and then oh, just slowly a... chew on it before swallowing it. And that's a good one, that one, isn't it? Wipe, wipes his nose, that's the bigger noise, as he wipes on his sleeve, and you can be visible like green trails across this black, black sleeve of his. Yeah, I'm just going to say to him, that looked like a good one, that one. Oh, yes, it was. The name's nah. Bildreth. This is me shop. How can he help? Oh. All right, Bill Drath. Which then? Um, we're looking for a map um, of Barovia. Maps? I've got maps. Perfect. Um, do, you want, do you want a map of the state? Do you want a map of a town? What are you after? Um, you got coin? I've got ways. I'm looking for a map of pretty much the the entire place. Um, 
Yeah, I've got one around from last time I've started came through. How much are you willing to port for it? Very rare, the, these maps, very rare. Expertly oh. hand-drawn by an expert calligrapher from Valaki. Well, you're you're the uh, you're the merchant. How much are you are you asking for it? He, he'll eye up your coin purse and look at you up and down. You seem like the worthy sorts. Fifty well, gold pieces. I mean, I'm not exactly wealthy. Um, In a suit like if, that, you must have serious coin on you. Well, I made this myself, unfortunately. Oh, a handyman, eh? Pretty much. Um, I'm an engineer. An engineer what? Um, well, I make things. Oh, you smith? Oh, um, no, my last name is Ezzy. Hmm. Confuse a fan of this one. And he'll turn and look at, uh, who else did he die? He'll just straight up turn to Sarah and be like, right, what are you after? Uh, what are we after? <laughs> <laughs> a map. We're after a map. What map? Stuff that like, you have to learn. I'd like to think Sarah is just like baked. That's why he's like, a um, map yeah. Yeah, His <laughs> eyes are visibly just red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what map are we after? So I can ask for it. Don't know. You tell uh, me. What map are we map after? Of... That was out of character. <laughs> <laughs> the, like the map of the, the, the continent. Yeah. The map of the continent. Yeah. All right. We need the map of the continent. Do you have one? Continent. We've got map of the country if you like. That'll do. That'll do, yeah. 50 gold pieces. Uh, Unless you've got something to barter with, you got anything to trade? I have pie. Oh, horrible stuff, that sweet stuff. Ooh, right up sits my stomach. Come, pie. Um, actually, um, Bildrath, is, is that your name? Yes. Build us today. Um, this is my shop. I do have this necklace. Uh, visibly, like his eyebrows raise and look at you, like hands are slowly rubbing. To do you now? What kind of necklace? Of, well, it's made of very fine metal, and it actually has your abbreviated name on it. it says Bill. Is it I, now? As he draws it out. Can I really subtly, like, try and sleight of hand press to digitation it so it looks like really shiny or like past a very mild for, light? Sleight of hand because the uh, the uh, presentation does have a uh, does it have a verbal or some uh, verbal component or just semantic? Um, it is. It's verbal and semantic. I like out the corner of my mouth, like. <laughs> 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 it's like off hell. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Oh. What's your friend doing over here? He's acting very suspicious. He don't make me get power in money. No oh, dodgy I mean. business here, you hear? No. Um, Sorry. I have no idea. Um, Speaking of dance in my shop, I'll have you thrown out. He's, um, but this necklace you were saying about. Yeah, so this is this is the necklace. I'll I'll show it in. It says Bill. Oh yes, oh yes. That's your that's your name. Uh no, my name's Bill Dress, but. Well, it's almost your name. I agree. Um, under my mask, I'm actually like moving my eyebrows up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't see it. Though. You see, I, I couldn't make much coin sell this, you see, it's just too too specific, you know, too specific. Do you have anything that's easy to pedal, maybe? You know, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, you know, you know? How about this? Um, this is a very small town, um, and I heard about your the unfortunate accident with your nephew. Oh, yes, yes. 
Um, it's, re it's really, really sad. Um, I could make him a mask just like mine. You the, need a bigger uh, mask. He's got one of those big heads, you see. It's a big boy. That's okay. That's okay. Strong. I'm a maker of many things. Strong like his uncle. Well, I'm a maker of many things. I could make him a mask. Um, I could also make the mask sort of be cool as well, so it'll help soothe the burn. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Uh, persuasion. I'm not good at persuading. <laughs> You're not very good at peddling your wares. Well, I'm listening. Where's this mask you talk about? Is it the one you're wearing right now? Because that won't be big enough. Well, I, I can make him a new one. Probably take me a day or so. Tell you what, if you make one and he looks tippity top, we'll say I'll bring, I'll bring it down to five gold for you. How's that sound? That's perfect. Right then. You look. Anything else you have to? You've got to buy anything or you're just going to gawk there? Um, got a busy, it, it's a busy it, store, this. Many customers. Can't be wasting my time all day and you lot. Would it be able for us to just see this map um, first, just to make sure it's the one we're after? Right. Uh, I'm going to rely on you guys being on a code and not screenshot the map. But will unravel <laughs> a map... No, don't don't you dare! I'd be very upset, spaghetti, because I spent a lot of time with these maps. I don't know. I'm not going to screenshot it. I'm going to buy it. it so. Definitely won't. Well, I was I was going to see if, like we said before, if I could try and look at the map and then like remember as much of it as possible. I yeah, as soon you, as he gets you out, have a look and then I'm... close it. That'd be nice. Oh yeah. no, that's the wrong one. Shit! <laughs> Gave me the wrong one anyway. Bollocks. All right, uh, all players real quick. There we go. It's in your journals real quick. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll, um, I'm going to buy that map anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The main thing I was looking for was where, like, our, our path to Castle Barovia, basically. You, you, oh, well, let me have a look. It, it looked like it was all just one straight road. The oh, it, it's, la it's labelled it's Castle, Castle Ravenloft. Yeah. yeah, it's labelled Castle oh, yeah, Ravenloft. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Bill Drath. Um, it's been... A pleasure to meet you, and I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow with the mask. What say it likewise? But you haven't spent any coins, so get the fuck out of my shop if you're not going to buy it. Isn't? Well, we will. We'll be your best customers soon enough. Leave. Yep. And the yeah, little bell it. goes, and you back on the town square with the familiar scent of uh, uh, pies emanating in the town square. Um, so I have a... Can you all make a perception check for me real quick, please? Mm-hmm. Look at that for the that one on this side. Um, both Sirius and Eli, you notice that uh, Megantha is in the middle of a transaction with someone else, and um, she hands over a couple of pies to, to the, this... Um, Fairly middle-aged couple, and uh, next to her is a little boy that's holding onto a hand at the moment, and uh, as he's waving them, uh, we like waving at them, and she's waving at them as well. Is that it? They just they were just waving. Yeah, just waving, waving as if they're saying bye bye. Hmm. Not okay. out of the ordinary there. <laughs> Let's carry um, on. Can I check? My stuff, and I got everything on me. Uh, yeah. Can I have a rummage okay. around? Everything appears to yeah. be on you. Perfect, okay. We're running to similar scams. 
on my travels. Uh, well, this isn't a scam, but it almost looks like that. People use kids to like swipe stuff from your pocket. I'm going to check my pockets after you <laughs> said that as well. Okay. Yep, everything's still in your pockets. Yep. Is there anything out of the ordinary with this kid, or no? Well, he just, seems uh... quite quite happy. Uh, he's nibbling on a small slice of pie. Morganthus has given him. She's given him a little pinch on the cheeks, saying, "Oh, he's a dirty huge boy." Has he got a giant head and a burnt face? Uh no, no. <laughs> he, he he looks no longer than. I would say six. Very young boy. Um, I, I mean, I don't see anything weird, so I'll move on. Did we see anything odd about that? Well, well, you saw exactly what I said. Yeah. If you see it as weird, that's up to you. No, I'm not that suspicious. I still want to know about the screaming woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, she she's right next door. You're hearing the, the... Not so much screaming, it's more like wailing and crying. Oh. Is she still doing that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's been constant this whole time. I'm giving birth. Did she give birth to that six-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Did she eat one of those pies? Oh, no. No, you do see a open balcony on the second floor of this townhouse. You see, you see a fairly elderly lady who's just rocking in the chair. She's creating what seems to be some sort of stuffed doll and just rocking backwards and forwards and just crying to herself. This is on someone else. I'm not going anywhere near This that. is where we've heard the wailing come from, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can, because you're right next to the shop, you can visibly see her there because it's the, the, the house next. That's just so weird. No one gives us one. Not likely to do anything. What are you, what are you guys going to do? Is there anything weird with the doll? Uh, like, you can make a perception check. It's a bit tricky to see from your angle because she's she's like clutching onto it. Fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. DC's fifteen. So uh you do see it's definitely like a, a child's doll, like a stuffed toy. But it, it's like a weird they don't like horror movies like creepy doll kind of thing. Right, Annabelle. Yeah, it's kinda like that, but like a stuffed toy. It's just it's like it's definitely a children's toy, but it's kind of creepy, not like a children's child's toy. Chucky. Yeah, it's very bizarre. It's like definitely creepy. It's like got frangled hair, looks a little bit malformed. But it's definitely a child's toy for me because he's like it's a bit hard to describe. I'm gonna go strangle the six-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge. Let me know. Um, is, this a, is this a grown lady on the balcony we can see? Oh, yeah. She's like, ooh, right. just crying. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll get you a photo of a. Uh, I'll try and find a photo of the doll. Just Googling now, old lady crying on balcony. <laughs> <laughs> creepy doll. Nobody else go talk to her. I'm scared. Uh, can I paste it into Roll20? That'd be kind of cool. See why I good. would ever talk to someone like that. I cannot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, let's go into Townmaster now. Oh, Curse of Townmaster, rather. Yeah, that's horrific. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's almost like the doll that Lilo makes in Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, it's yeah, like, exactly. It's, it's exactly it's that like vibe, yeah. Reminds me of, like, Oopsie Daisy. A wetty Betty. Um, let's like have it. Let's <laughs> leave it. Carry on walking down. Like, yeah, <laughs> just like head down. Let's go and find this guy that we need and to shut up, you old bat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one thing you notice, like serious as you're walking by, you notice Lancelot is walking and just gets himself settled in the kennel. 
He what does what, kennel? sorry? He, he just walks into a kennel and just like curls up and just sits there, panting. Oh. What is the kennel his? Uh, it, 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 there seems to be some sort of writing on it, but it's been neglected, the kennel. It's, it would have to clean it up to see clearly what it is, but it seems like some writing's on it. Oh, I've got some woodworking tools. Can I, like, sand it off a little bit so I can see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you spend a couple of minutes on it with this lady just, just still crying above you. It's really <laughs> awkward. Lancelot's <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> loving life, though. He's just sat there, just literally just, like, tail wagging, just laying down. Uh, loafing and uh, yeah you, you tidy it up to get the smudge marks off and you do see um, it seems like to be painted on there uh, the name Lancelot going on, on across the top in a uh, really nice cursive so his name is to... actually Lancelot yeah that's what's said on his collar isn't it yeah oh right I thought someone named him no no his, his collar said Lancelot well um, we found Lancelot's house As it, it's um... next to this house but the Crying lady. Oh, it's, it's in the, the porch area, yeah. So it has a, a slightly raised porch area. Right, so we knock on the door, uh, though. You can knock on the door, yeah. um, but the lady will just carry on setting up that crying. Oh, no one else Maybe is answering. She's... Maybe no. she's worried because she's lost a dog. Maybe. Can I, I, can yeah, I like, maybe. shout off to the balcony and be like, Excuse me, are you okay? No. I think we've got your dog. My poor, poor Katruda. Uh, who? <laughs> my beautiful girl. First, my daughter is gone, and then my dog. Ah, <laughs> well. <laughs> uh oh. I can fix one problem at least. <laughs> oh, you found Lancelot? Uh, we have. We found the dog, yeah. Did you find Gertruda? Seen like stands looking down at you guys, excited. Uh, <laughs> no, we haven't. No. no, no, we haven't found anyone else. Just the dog. We, we found. And you just um, see her demeanor just change, and she goes, "Bad dog, bad boy." You were supposed to find her, and she like throws like a f really wilted flower pot to try to like nail this kennel. I'm gonna put my shield up to stop the plant pot. He's like whimpering. The dog plays. Um, we found Lancelot's dog. Um, he was in the old... Oh, who cares? My poor Gertrude. She'll sit back down and start what? wailing again. Do we Maybe we should take Lancelot with us. Well, he was stuck in the old Durst residence, in the, the, the old Durst house. Um, where did where did your daughter go missing? She was taken by the devil. Oh, oh shit! But the burger <laughs> master it. does nothing. Oh, uh, like poor Gertrude, gone. I was so innocent. I tried to protect her. Ooh. We'll keep an eye out for her. <laughs> why Why did he take her? Come on, I don't man, know, he takes go. whatever he wants. I'm sure okay. she's fine. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye. <laughs> How old was your daughter? Uh, that's a good question. Um, let me consult the notes. Uh, I remember it being young. Just kind of, kind of, it's a bit it's creepy, sweet. but uh... oh, now James's character's interested. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to know who I'm looking for. <laughs> where is Mary? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Yeah, she is thirteen. Okay, so it's like a teenager, essentially. Yeah, just coming to age, kind of, kind of thing. Yeah. We'll keep an eye out for uh, her. Does she look like? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what, what does she look like? All I'm saying is, you know, vampires like blood. That's all I'm saying. Oh. 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 Not gonna lie, not my favorite part of the book, but it's there. 
You are lowering the tone. <laughs> yeah. Now, Why don't you wait, take a seat? Have you added that cream pie from the elderly lady into inventory yet? Hmm? Saying, I'm, I'm, low I'm lowering the tone. Jeez. Oh, I want to ask the old lady something, actually. I want to ask the old lady to ask her. Oh, yeah, she's just still there. She's going, pies for sale, pies for sale. Ooh. Morga Morganta. She's like singing, like, all, you don't want those old people just to waddle to themselves. <laughs> Makes no yeah. sense. Yeah, she's doing that. Don't quit your day job, Morganta. You sound <laughs> shit. I did say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Morganta, um, I, I've got to uh, ask you a question. You said oh, that yes. you were making... You said you made the pies at a windmill. Oh, yes, to, to the west. If you follow the old uh, Svalich road up to Valaki, we're just off the road. Um, me, I just want to ask, my two sisters. The, um, the windmill, is, is that happened to be in a field with red flowers? Oh, yes, it does. H have, you, have you visited before? No, um, I just uh, heard about it, but thank you very much. Um, your pie is delicious. Have you had a slice yet? Oh, it was lovely. Have you actually had a slice yet? No. Okay, I was going to say, can you do a deception check? Um, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> There's no pastry around pie. your mouth. That <laughs> pie was laced with chloroform, so oh, you've not eaten it yet. Very good. <laughs> oh, you telling porky pies, you funny little man. I would see the crumbs in your mouth otherwise, you see. Oh no, we, we me and um <coughs> No there's no crumbs because I don't no, waste no, food. Be, this looks and like also a, I'm wearing is, a mask. This is a face of a man that lies. Look at his look at the way he's quivering in his boots. <laughs> you can't it's see my like, face. <laughs> Say hello, <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> the little boy goes, little boy goes, Hello. Uh Well yeah, what do you want? Hello, you little hide behind you like, oh, now, now, Timmy, don't, don't be afraid. See, Tim, Timmy's got to come to the windmill to help us. His parents uh, come on hard times, you see. So the boy's going to help <laughs> us in the windmill. And uh, <laughs> oh my God. that was not very nice, Mister Robot Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, so, sorry, little boy. It's okay, Timmy. Ignore the strange man. Anyway, we'll we'll see you later. But thank you for uh, answering my question. Um, I, I I'm sorry for lying about eating your pie. I will have a slice, um, a little bit later. Oh, good, good. If you and need any more, delicious. You know where to find me. I'm here once a week, and if you, oh. uh, you need it anytime sooner, feel free to swing by the windmill. Perfect. Thank you very much. Bye bye now. Which will blow you a kiss tonight. Bye bye. Say bye bye now, Timmy. Put it in my pocket. Oh, <laughs> guys, I think I've smoked too much. Because <laughs> <laughs> he just doing that like, classic Stoner movie, he's just looking around. I'm gonna... like, what the fuck's going on? He's just shaking his head, <laughs> just wondering. I'm gonna walk over to the group and say, "Don't eat those fucking pies. Like, do what? not eat them." What pie? <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually got like a slice of pie in your mouth right now? <laughs> so I will. I'll eat a slice of pie. Oh no, that's why. Um, let me get the description because uh, these pies are absolutely amazing. Oh, let's not like that. Uh, where's Make my tab? Constitution check. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. With so, disadvantage. Only at one slice. The pie just it just it merely feels homely. It's like. Oh, it just feels amazing. You get flashbacks to your whoever your loved ones was was were like whenever they would cook your favorite meal kind of thing. And the pie actually gives you D4 temporary hit points. Oh, wow. Shit. Oh, sorry, wrong. D8 temporary hit points. Apologies. Whoa. Oh. I thought you were going to say, sorry, D4, D4, uh, <laughs> out damage. of your health points. Oh, this necrotic <laughs> damage. Uh, you get a D8 temporary hit points, and you also become immune to magical sleep. Oh, I'm already immune wow. to that. Oh, there and we go. cast sleep. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like Red Bull kind of, like, vigorated. It's just like, you just started eating the pie and going, yeah, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, just like just pumping yourself up, psyching yourself up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So we're on those bottoms and downers at the moment. Um, do I'm I mean I'm a little bit skeptical about this lady's pies. Um, she mentioned that her pies were made in a windmill. There's only one place in this town I've seen a windmill. Um, and that was on the family crest of the Dursts of the house we were in. I asked her if um, the windmill was on a field with red flowers, and it was. So it sounds like maybe she's linked to that house somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe I'm being paranoid. I just thought I'd check. Well, it is good pie. <laughs> I mean, we can we can just like wait and see what you just see a cream yeah. mustache on him. Okay. <laughs> um, should we uh, should we go see he who must not be named the devil? I I guess that's that's our next step. Although, do we want to? Apparently, nobody comes back from there. Oh, that's true. We could we could head over to this guy that you're making the mask for. Maybe you could get some measurements and you know, and then um, we could get our hands on a map. I think um no, I think I I don't think I need measurements. I think I can make uh because the mask half the mask is fabric anyway, so it's sort of like you know, it is sort of like a one size fits all sort of thing. Uh, just make the metal piece slightly bigger than mine. Yeah, well, apparently he had a big head. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, well, we'll see how big his head is, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to go back and see how big this kid's head is. <laughs> You're going back into the build drafts again? Yeah. The little bell goes, and he just looks at you again, going, what are you on? Uh... Hi, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, in all our excitement, I forgot to uh, how big exactly your nephew's head is? Oh, I see. You need need some need some measurements here. Pretty much, yeah. Ah, uh, purple, purple. Get your ass up here, sir. Uh, sir, man. Uh, what what exactly are you? Uh, what, I, I, what, what's your pronouns? I was, I was well. Yeah, uh, robot's fine. This robot here wants to have a look at your head. Uh, is there anyone in uh, Bill, uh, Bill Drafts with you, or is it just yourself that's just popped in there real quick? I have no idea. I just popped in. I don't know if anyone's followed. I me. didn't go in. Didn't I didn't. In. I'll, I'll stand like in the doorway. Oh, yeah. I'm too nosy oh. not to go in. Uh, so you're Elion and Eli. There you go. You guys can have that in your journal. Does he look horrific? And his head it is like double what the size of a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Big head. Are you joking. And uh, the the half you can't see is like horrendously scarred, and the mouth is yeah. like drooping. He's at the size of him. Got a tiny head. He's towering at six, six foot eight, he's towering at. How old is he? Twelve. <laughs> he is uh, mid twenties. I thought we were like talking about a little boy. And he comes out saying, "Hello, sir." Oh, you, hello. You Periwinkle's friend. Yes, and you're a special <gasps> friend. You're a special <laughs> boy. Okay, Harold. <laughs> he tries to come in for a hug. Oh, I'll give him a hug. Oh, that's he, nice. He squeezes a little bit too hard. Uh, Does that hit your AC? Yes. You are dead. You take five points of uh, crushing damage. Oh my oh, god. Ow. 
He hears like <laughs> ribs like starting to crack. <laughs> you also friend. And he just points at Elion in the doorway. I just like step out the door and close the door immediately behind me. <laughs> the, the little bell goes behind you yeah, as you're like cool. catching your breath. <laughs> you're like, I, I, I just, just step out like Mav and Serious, like hello, part purple. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to uh, <laughs> just get some measurements of your of your nice head. Oh, goody, goody! He starts jumping and clapping. The entire building is like shaking on its foundations. What the fuck? Can... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sort of like look at his head and take some estimations and stuff and write them down. As a scientist, the measurements are perplexing. This is like the size of a, like, a loxodon's head. And you're like, what the fuck is going on here? It's like, is he a yeah, mutant? Right. Is he like a semic mutant? mutant? It's like, this is abnormal. Oh, I might need a bit more metal than I have. <laughs> Very cool. Big head, big head. <laughs> like I've got some scrap metal. I tell you what, I... yeah, no worries. I've got it now. See ya. <laughs> bye, bye, friend. I'm just, I'm gone. Back to stocky boxes. Back to stocky. Just hear it as the bell rings as he, him happily singing, carrying some really heavy boxes about in the store in the back room area. As you come out, you hear Elian describing that case to to Mav and Sirius. I'm like, no, seriously, he must be seven feet tall and five feet wide. The the kid's huge. He has to walk sideways through doors, that kind of thing. Oh my god. Okay, I've got the measurements. Are are you okay? You you look look like you nearly uh, popped a uh, a gasket when and he squeezed you then. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Let's go. It's <laughs> clutching his side and limping. <laughs> That's great, you guys. I think my spleen came out my arsehole. <laughs> uh, you can have a point of inspiration for that, James. That was a trade-off for taking a big old hug from Parry Wimple. Yay. Um, I can probably have this mask done and maybe stay in time. I can go back to my and get it done. Well, the amount of materials and stuff you need to make it, you reckon it's a two-day job now? Oh, really? Oh, right. oh yeah. <laughs> he, like, grossly uh, underestimated got, the size of the head kind of thing. I've got some scrap metal, but I've also got that silvered short sword. Oh, yeah, you do, uh, you do. You, you would want to use the silver short sword for that? Do you remember the value yeah. of the silver short sword? How, what was the value? Uh, good question. <laughs> Pretty sure I listed out. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Where uh, is it? I did write it down. Bear with me a second. Oh, I've that's got, right. I, uh, I've got the human ball sack with eleven thingy. Uh, oh, I've got the eye patch. Oh, the eye patch is built into my um, mask. By the way, what was it? Okay. Um. Oh, why is it in the appendix? Why, where is it? Oh, that's the deck. Don't want the deck. Oh, I can't find it. Um, oh, I'll find it. Silver, silver short sword. 10,000 gold. Uh, it's... To silver a weapon alone costs 100 gold pieces, usually. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's like 100 gold pieces plus whatever the short sword is usually worth. Obviously, give and take if they have enough, if you, your report with said merchant and if he has enough gold coins or if you're haggling, all that stuff. All right, oh, fuck it then. Oh, um, yeah, so silver is like premium level shit. Yeah, I'll go into, I'll like pop my, pop my head into this shop without the bell going off, like not opening the door too much. Do I see the weird he, man he's child? Got- He's got the brush that's in the image, and he's just he's just cruising in the back room, just like 
dusting everything, cleaning, and you just hear uh, uh, his figure go past the doorway. You don't see the head. The doorway's too small for the head. You just see the shoulders, and he's going <laughs> as he's running around brooming. <laughs> I'm gonna like try and sneak it, like squeeze through the door. Uh, stealth check for me to see if you trigger the bell or not. Uh, I need to do disadvantage. So. Seventeen. Parry Wimple does not hear the bell or you sneak in. Perfect. I'm gonna go uh, up to um, Bildrath uh, and uh, show him the sword. Uh, the silver sword. Um, it's yours for. Um, let's say the map and also 30 gold. Hmm. How about this then? Don't have 30 gold sitting there, but you're missing, you need some maps. And you look like you're not too familiar with the area, right? I mean, right, I mean, my instinct is always right. Got to, got to know what's right, you see. And he goes, well, as he like inhales like a, 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 a phlegm, it's just bits on the floor. Well, I'll tell you what, give me all of the maps you've got, um, and I will give you this short sword, and also an ivory hairbrush, which is also quite valuable. Oh. Make a persuasion check with advantage. I tell you what, I mean a generous, I'm a generous man, a nice man, all right, because you're new to the area and all that, I'll give you the maps, but I want you to wait for you to go on your travels, and we've got some business cards here, I want you to spread the word, all right? Oh, it's not even an issue. Right. We have a devil to deal with. Perfect. I'll have all the maps you've got, please. All right, then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I've got a map of Valaki. And yep. I've got a map of Barovia. Yep. And I have a map of Perez for you. Brilliant. Take it. Edit. Uh, Eli is close so that should be there now edits eli there we go and if you take those two bits out of your inventory then uh Perfect. uh was there three maps oh, there we uh, go. three maps yep there we go yeah Okay, um, I'm going to say thank you. Uh, mask is going to take a little longer. His head's much bigger than I thought it was. Well, I'll still get it to you. Oh, you want? Uh, I'll get rid of the Perez one, because he wouldn't have that, actually. Oh, okay. uh, you'll have the Barovia one. I just clicked that one. Uh, I need to upload that real quick, but uh, if you give me two seconds, it'll pop up for you. I have the map ready. I'd literally just not. Yeah, no worries. I'll, uh, I'm going to head out and uh, with the maps and say, hey, look what I've got. Yeah, you're giving it to everyone. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh, just yeah. file. I don't know why I forgot to upload that. I literally have it, had it right there. Weird. Okay. Gotta wait for that to upload and then. Big boy. So it might take a little bit. Are you, are you showing the maps to everyone? Yep. I am, yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll get that amended for you guys if you want to carry on. Uh, I've got the maps, so uh, I'll work on the mask every now and then. But for now, we've got what we needed, and I'll pull out um, the uh, country of Barovia, the county of Barovia, on. I say, um, so this is where we are. Uh, we've got to head down this road over this river uh, it's quite a long journey up to the castle oh, we well. could 
maybe cut through. I guess we've. I guess we haven't got anything else to do. How long does it take to travel there? Uh, roughly going by the measurements on the map, aka, give me a second to open up my image. Uh, where are you guys heading? Plan to head to? Castle Ravenloft. Castle Ravenloft. It will take you three and a quarter hours to get to that. Uh, three forty, fifty. About five hours of walking, and it's quite mountainous as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm. Well, I don't think it would take that long. Using to upload, huh? Um. So, um, what do you think? Should we pay this person a visit? Um, slightly worried by the fact that nobody returns from there. Apparently, but I don't I mean, know what our other options are. We don't really know what that means. I mean, we're trying to get home. This person's obviously trying to get in touch with us. They've given us gifts. They've... So they know that we're here. I imagine we'll probably meet them eventually. So we might as well go to them. Do you guys think? And I'll look at um, Map and Sirius. I mean, it's a plan if he doesn't trust that he can get his uh, orb sorted out to get us back, then looks like it might be our only way. Yeah, I don't think we've got any other choice. Okay, should can we head back to... I... Oh. oh, wait, head back to where, sorry? I was just going to say, should we head back to the tavern to um, get Thalamine and the other one? Forgot a name. Oh, Talindra, yep. Talindra. The other one. Uh, yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Okay. So I guess we'll head back to the tavern and pick up Thalamine and Talindra. Is that the way of uh, calling it for the night, considering they're not here today? Uh, not quite. So in, when you guys walk back in the tavern, uh, it is not empty. There is a man who's sipping on some wine, clutching onto his side. In the corner table. Is he in one of them pies? Uh, he's not eating a pie, no. Have we seen this man before, or is he... No, he's, he's unfamiliar. <laughs> are we concerned by this man, or are we just going to ignore the fact he's got no reason to talk to him, have we? We just yeah, want to get and Talindra. Um, I'll um, tell you what I'll do. Uh, just because I'm a nice person, um, I will walk up to him, um, order a drink, um, but sneakily put my hand on his shoulder and cast cure wounds. Okay. Um. You will need to do a slight hand check for me. Uh, yeah. uh, let me do a quick roll here. He'll turn around and look at you and say, and put a hand on his, on your top of your hand and say, I, I appreciate the effort, but um, that... Uh, won't do much for me. And he like lifts up his jacket and you see this horrendous like bite wound that appears to be like infected and nasty. And the gentleman what happened? Uh, you see, uh we've been suffering attacks here recently and uh my father died and that makes me the burger master and uh, of course that puts a target. Burgers? A burgomaster. You never heard the term before? Oh, I love burgers. What's what's a burger, Eric? Is that is, is that something you make? Is that one of your weird, weird recipes again? 
He just raises his hand and looks back up. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just meat between two buns. Sounds delightful. <laughs> it's not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? This image refuses to upload, so I'm just going to put it into the Tal Masters because I've tried to compress it several times and it's not having it. Okay, it's fine. Oh, it's too big for fucking Discord. Ah! <laughs> Can you find a smaller version of it on Google? No, I mean, if you um, it's a cut and snip it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. Quick and dirty way of doing it. Um, you can use um, an image compressor online. Yeah, I tried to get it work. It, it was just failing over and over again. Stick it in paint, or take and then sc- screenshot it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna work on that and get a handout sorted because it's like eight megabytes, but that's like too much for raw twenty. So. It, File. Yes. Uh, carry on. I'm. I'm still here. Though, so. Uh, attacks from what? Direwolves, monsters. Oh. This insane lady has been obsessed ever since uh, she saw my sister. Okay. Um, well, good luck with that. Bye. No. Um, hold on. Hold on. You, you, you lot seem capable. You adventurers? Well, used to be. What's your group called? You've been travelling for a while? Oh, um, shit. What is our group called? I mean, we don't have to have a name. We've only just sort of, like, started out. Multiversoids. Multiversoids. I don't know. No. That's right. It's right. You haven't got one. That's all right. But what brings you here anyway? And he stuck the coughs into his hand. And you can visibly see blood. Are you sure you're all right? It's like. Oh. I'm not a medical pro- professional, but probably not. <laughs> the way this bug is feeling, but at least the wine still tastes good. Cheers, Eric. Um, Purse I mean, is we're, we're, bloody shithole. Okay, like we 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 survive. Do you need something? I mean. It, you, you lot seem capable, you armed. That's something, I suppose, compared to the rest of those starting towns forking here. Uh, I need my sister to get to Valaki. Coin in it. Whatever I've got, I've got left in the house. We're heading that way anyway, aren't we? Sounds like a good way to make a bit of coin. Um, agreed, we could do with some coin. Yeah. We can we can escort Arena. Sister. Sis, sister's name's Arena. The name's Ismark. Ismark. Current burgomaster of this sudden shithole. Soon Ismark. to be dead. The Cheers. Um, I mean, why didn't my spell work? It usually works on bites, cuts, scrapes, even See, these, deep wounds. These are not your normal, normal bite wounds. Seeing a lady before, I swear she's one of his consorts. They Mad his. one. I think the name's Petrovia, if I remember right. Petrovia. There we go. Wait. Hey. Okay. Um. So you need to you need us to go to the lackey. 
Aye. We've got to keep her safe. She, keep, she's keep special, you see. Keep a secret, keep her safe. Hmm. Tell you what, hundred gold pieces to each of you. You managed to do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you... And he just like sputters onto the coughs out. Where is she? Uh, she's she's back in the house with my dad. He's she refuses to leave till he's buried. Old fashioned she is. Tried to say him, I did, but too many, too many. What do you guys think? Coins I mean, always useful. Hundred gold each as well. That's good. I mean, if we're going that way, we can make a bit of a detour. Um, yeah. And at least if we do have to stay any longer, we can use. You know, some money to get by, perhaps even buy some more materials. If uh, if this doesn't, if this plan doesn't work out, we can use it to buy materials for your your orb. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose you're right. Um, uh, okay, is Mark? We'll uh, we'll do it. Oh, fantastic! Ah, uh, let, let me whip something up, Bob. You guys don't see. Are you, are you with Stani? You, you don't seem familiar with the area. You definitely don't look like them or behave like them. Uh, we, we're not really from here. Strangers, eh? Could be one of his blaze things. Still, the, I suppose the risk is worth it. She she, she needs to go to Falaki. It's a, apparently a safe haven from him. Um, or her rather. Apparently, they can't enter it for some reason. Um, uh, Eric, get has anyone got a pen and paper? Oh, here, I've got some. All right, hand him. Let me, he'll start jotting down on a piece of paper and he will hand you guys this. So if you guys didn't cash out for the maps, there's a rudimentary map for you guys with some little tidbits. Map drawing. Oh. Nice. Please escort my sister Irene to save. I up the gold pieces because uh, you guys are a little bit short on cash since uh, Dust Manor. <laughs> didn't quite get everything, so I'll give you 100 gold pieces each. Okay, um, we can do this. Gate of the Great Barovia. Is that where we came in from? Uh, no, you came from Gates of Barovia. You need there's a gate, like a tunnel, that goes through the mountain into the main country bit, which is the valley. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we got it. We'll go in journals if you need yeah. it. There we go. There we go. The gates of uh, Barovia, by the way, James, far right side of the map towards the bottom. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because there's got you've got the gate. Yep. Uh, you got the other gate there. That's going. If you guys want to doodle or anything, let me know, and I can take you to any of the maps, and uh, you can have a look. See. Anyone want to doodle on any maps or anything? Or are you good? I'm good. I'll just take you over here for now in that case. Alright, uh, she'll be down the south road. Look, th th three times. She's a little bit on edge. But, uh, she's c quite, quite good with the blade, but not, not enough. Not enough against that she demon. Okay, we'll make sure she gets there. So. And, uh, he'll just drop a coin purse on the table. And it's like a heavy third of coins. Yeah, 
take it. Not much use for me soon. <coughs> but please, keep your word. You have to keep her safe. Promise me. She's all I have left. Keep her safe. Promise, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. He'll uh, shake your hand and you can, you can definitely feel the grip going lighter. Good luck. Aye. He'll uh, shakily grab his glass and uh, keep sipping away at the wine. Okay, let's get a fella mine. And we'll um, go pick up Irene. Uh, Irina. Irina. Uh, Irina. Yep. Uh, it's on the, the, the map drawing, I think, the spelling. Yeah. Got it. This, uh, uh, we better have anyone, what it's about. Cause, yeah, cause if it anyone doesn't like know. Could, yeah. oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right, Max. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, if anyone doesn't know what a Burgomaster is, it's a very old-fashioned way of saying mayor, basically. I've just wrote Burgomaster in my notes, like an actual, what James was getting at before, a burger. <laughs> a a Burger King, well. maybe. Strahd might be Burger King. These are just his rivals. His quest for so, culinary fi- uh, refinement is a matter. Have a Whopper, please. Cast fireball on you. It's gonna make you flame grilled. Um, Are you guys gonna grab the other two if that's still in their rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get those guys. Okay. Uh that's probably a good place to end the session because it's gonna be a bit of lore and stuff that might happen in the next session. So uh we'll leave it there, I think. Alrighty. I know we ended a little bit early, but um, yeah, it felt, felt, feels like a good time to stop. It was good. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Can't wait to you use guys... my gauntlets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Going to punch some things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want me to leave it on this page for you guys, or do you want me to put it back on the landing page for you? Probably leave it on this one. This, this one's a little bit more useful, right? I think we get them in the handouts anyway. Yeah, it's more a case of in case you want to draw on it, because you can only draw on one page or something, right? Ah, fair enough. <laughs> there, there we go. Nice. <laughs> and immediately regretting not, not to save the <laughs> drawing on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Right, I'll I'll close off my stream and all stuff and I'll be back in like two seconds, right? All right. All right, Yo, cool. Guys.